Hey there, service pros. This is Christian from the Workies product team. In this video, we're going to talk about creating and managing your items in Workies, including creating items, managing them using bulk actions, and organizing them using item categories. This is going to set you up to start adding line items to jobs using your items list or your price book, a digital catalog that presents all of your business's materials and services in a simple and organized way. Before we dive into this one, let me take a quick second to talk about how much we value your feedback. If you find these videos helpful, or if you're interested in learning more about other topics, let us know in the comments. Okay, let's get started. We'll start by creating an item. To do that, we'll head over to our items and products settings page. You'll see three tabs here, items and products, item groups, and item categories. We'll get to most of these in this video, but let's focus on items first. Let's create one real quick. We'll start by uploading an image for this item so it's easier to spot when adding it from our price book and so that our documents, like our estimates and invoices, are generated with more detail or maybe even some custom branding. The rest of this is pretty basic stuff, like the item name and model number. Make sure you enter both the price you want to charge and the cost that you pay to acquire per unit. This way, Workies can generate reporting that helps you better understand your profit margins. Next, we'll select the category we want to add this item under. We'll cover this in greater detail here in a bit, but just know that this is going to help you streamline your price book and make it simple to find the items you need for a job. Next, we'll choose what type of item this is. I'll say this is a product. After that, we'll decide if we want to include this item in our booking portal online. More on that in a separate video, but feel free to learn more about your booking portal using the link in the description below. Last, let's quickly show you how to add a custom field to your item. You can use this to log other item related information that you want to track, like a vendor part number, paint color, supplier information, and more. Okay, so that's creating an item. Now let's quickly talk about how to easily make changes to these items. You can do that by manually selecting the item you want to update or by using bulk actions. We'll just select the items we want to make changes to and then choose the action we want to perform up here. We can adjust the price or cost, move the items to a new category, enable it or disable it from our list of items, change whether they're taxable or not, add or remove this item from our inventory management system, and update the item type, like services, hours, or products. Let's adjust the price. You'll be asked to choose between the price you want to charge or the cost you pay to acquire these items per unit. You can also choose between percentage or dollar-based adjustments, making it easy for you to mark up or discount certain items as needed. Positive numbers result in increases, negative numbers, decreases. Easy stuff. We'll bump all these items up in price by 10%. Okay, so that covers individual items. We already cover item groups in a separate video, so I won't spend too much time on that here. In short, Workies allows you to group individual items together that you can then add to an invoice with just a click. You can display the grouped items individually or as a flat rate item. They're a great way of automatically grouping the required materials and labor for specific services that your team uses for jobs on a regular basis. To learn more about how it all works, check out the link in the description below. Next, let's talk about item categories. First thing I want to mention here is that while they sound sort of similar to item groups, they serve a completely different purpose. Item groups help you add multiple items to a job or document with just one click. We just learned that. Item categories, however, are designed to improve your organization so that you can easily navigate your price book and quickly find the exact items that you need for a job. I've already got a bunch of categories set up, but let's go ahead and create a new one. It's only going to ask you for a few things, like an image, category name, a parent category, and a description. I'd recommend using a good image here. That way it's easier for you and your team to spot the right category as you're digging through your price book. After that, we can go back to our items tab and then move a handful of items into our new category using bulk actions. Last thing I want to show you is how to add an item to a job. We'll just open up a job page, select the items tab, and then choose to add an item from our price book. And here's a quick look at what your customers are going to see from the client portal. And that's it. Those are the basics of creating and managing items and services and working. Feel free to subscribe to this channel for all the latest on how Workies can help your business grow. Thanks for watching.